Hello there YouTube. Today I want to introduce you the latest firmware version of MRE's COC firmware. Uh, it is built at 27th of May 2022. So I had this as a sneak preview but now it's out and you can have this software firmware excuse me uh, in your printer and there are some advantages on this printer uh, which were not on the late last one um, the mesh leveling has more options so you can edit mesh and view mesh everything you like was already on there but now you can dial it more in so you can edit your uh, mesh by anything you would like so I haven't tried all these options uh, yet but um, so far so good it's really nice and there is also another option in this firmware which has uh, enabling the um, max temperature if you're using a sprite extruder pro kit if you're not don't attempt this because if you do you will burn your house down you will probably do some damage to your goods or whatever yourself as well so do not try this if you don't have a sprite extruder pro uh, well even even if you have the sprite extruder pro i do not um, suggest you to get, get up to 300 degrees because these these have these um, limitations and uh, the degradation of everything will get really fast if you're using it at that but I'm going to show you guys that it is possible uh, as you can see I go to hot and temperature and I'm gonna dial it up up to what <laughs> up to 260 is normally that's your limitation even if you have the sprite extruder pro but now i can go higher higher and higher and 300 is a limitation so i'm going to set it up to 300 as you can see here it's gonna go up to 300 but i'm not gonna let it do it because i don't print at those temperatures so i'm gonna dial it back up to zero there we go um, but as you can see it has the capability the late latest software has the capability to do it and um, if you're interested do download this firmware from the link below and um, well if you have already have used this firmware before you will know this is a really nice uh, firmware based on Marlin but I really like this firmware because this uh, this is actually the firmware that's making me want to well not want to use clipper at the moment because I have already everything here and maybe with an octo print uh, along with this it would be more than enough most guys say well octo print is uh, from yesterday uh, you should use clipper well maybe so but <laughs> I am using my uh, Raspberry Pi for other projects at the moment and uh, maybe that's why if if the Raspberry Pis will be more available easier available in the future I will most likely make a clipper one of my printers will most likely uh, most uh, uh, likely a, a clipper but not all of them because I am still using the interface i love the interface to use it uh, even better than the touch screen and um, well this was it then i just wanted to show you quickly what this firmware is all about and what you can do with it anyways guys hit the thumbs up if you liked the video hit the thumbs up if you didn't like the video subscribe to my channel if you would like to see more content like this in the future bye